And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and added his son and clayed the wood for the burnt sack offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place far off. How many days, how many days journey? That three day journey is not easy. They have to sleep on the way, do something. The next day, move around, start sleep on the way, do something. Three days to go, three days to come. So it's seven days to join. Imagine on a seven days, a seven day weekend, so seven day, just one whole week out of home. The three days to go, and certainly they spend some time with the sacrifice, and then start coming back. It's a whole week to Amen. Now, um, verse 4. And on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of Pharaoh. And Abraham said unto the young man, Abide here, abide ye here with the ass, and I will, and the Lord will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the, the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and the knife, and they went both of them together. Are you there? And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Yea, am I my son? And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the offering? of rain? As Christians can tell the father to tears. Yea, is the wood. Yea, is the father. But where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Hey. Mm. Hello. That is serious. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Mm. Mm. Are you there? That's it. Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. Him of. That's it. And Abraham built an altar there, and they laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar of the wood. How old was Isaac? About 14 years. Imagine this 14 years old boy. His hands were tight, his two legs tight. Carried him. Father was 113. 114 years. You know, carried him, placed on that altar. Hello? Mm. Verse 10. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. As he was watching, he was screaming. Wah! Because now he's more friend friendly or this game is becoming. If you are playing, Father, if you are playing, stop this play. <laughs> if you are artist or a school driver, don't, don't, don't go too far. Not now, you can be serious. You hey, can be serious. Hello? But you see a man that is willing to. Now, let's take a look on. That's um, 11. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of the heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Yea, am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now, say now, now. hey, now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy, thy only son from me. Say now, now. how many years journey with God? How many years? God called him at the age of seven, around 75. Amen. Amen. So maybe like 34 years of his walk with God. God says, now I know that you fear God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then, look at the body of the God. Do I really know you? Do I really know you? <laughs> 
You know, you know how you know people? Hello? You know how you know people? When there's tension, when there's conflict, you know the real problem. As long as things are good, angel, 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 angel. But when there's what? Real conflict. How do you know Christians who are in? When there's a need? When there's what? When there's a challenge? When there's a need? I have a friend of mine in Cameroon, um, Peter Anko. I took him to Germany like five years ago for the first trip. He started ordering caterpillars. And God has blessed him. He's been a blessing to us. God has blessed him with about six caterpillars now. Amen. Amen. And then he ordered a special caterpillar from China, from China, almost 80 million francs. This is much cheaper. You know. Caterpillar came, he is, he is a contractor. He is work for a certain company, he <coughs> owns more than 200 million CFA. I don't pay. The caterpillar is at a fall, at a point of option. He has money, companies owing him, they are not paying the money, and the poor one option is. He has only spent six or eighty million. The thing out is about fifteen million. He has spent eleven point something. He needs four million to pay. Hello? He got to this brother. He said, Oh, he came yesterday. Went to the church. I said, Oh, you know this time, uh, it's difficult. The gold left and right. He's going to lose he's going to lose what eighty million because of four million. How do you know your friends? Do you have any friend? Yes. yes. Do you really have someone who cares? Who says, hey, I will stand with you no matter what? Christianity is not just jumping on Sunday morning and jumping saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Are you real? Are you real? I think not talk to somebody, are you real? Are you real? Hey, I'm not sure. I mean, look at them and say, hey. Are you real? Or are you just acting the Christianity? Are you acting? Are you real? I want Christians who can stand with me when things are wrong. I want those who can stand with you when things are wrong. Hallelujah. I was watching TJ last Sunday. TJ said, he just called the daughter in church. Hello? He called what? His daughter. He said, daughter, if you are in prison, you are my daughter. If you are on crack, you are my daughter. If you are sick, you are my daughter. If you are stubborn, you are my daughter. If you are a prostitute, you are my daughter. If you are disobedient to me, you are what? My daughter. My daughter. Nothing can change it. Hello? Can you keep up some say, sister? If you do good, you're my daughter, my sister. If you do bad, you see, love is not for love is not seen when things are good. Real love is when there are challenges. Somebody say, I will stand with my brother, I will rescue him. Imagine, are you following myself? Hello? No. I'm just okay. You got a you back stand now, okay, in the world. And I see the road, I don't I don't get you. I've never loved you. I've never want the real love manifests when somebody is me. They don't find the street. See, you see, you are, you are Christian who was a member of your church. If, if, as if you don't even know the person since Abraham's generation. You have never loved that person. Love is not when things are good. The real love is when somebody is going to want challenges. Now I know you. Hallelujah. How many Christians can cause, say, God, God says what? Hey, Brother Fred, I know you. You can stand with God no matter what. You can, you can sacrifice all to build God's kingdom. I know you. Hallelujah. There are some things that pastors know that if pastors bring their real heart outside, church can come. As a people that you can, as a people that you, you, you die for them, when they concern you, you cannot concern you. Understand what I said? You do what? You can die for them all. When they concern you, don't, 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 don't concern you. 
Hello? Is it able? I can die for you. I mean, tell me, I can die for you. I can go extra mile to save you. I can close my account to rescue you. I can close my account to rescue you. I can close my to rescue you. That is serious. Say never, never, never. I can close my account to rescue you. Hello? Listen, amen. You know, when, when Moses got his, his son, he said, thank God, God has blessed me a son. Say, I'm a stranger in a strange land. Say, I'm a stranger. In a strange land. Most of you here are immigrants. Amen. Hello? Listen now, listen. Amen. Hello? Do this, please. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Amen. We, listen, please. Well, mission is not a denomination, it's a family church. That's a family church. I'm not talking about. It's not Bishop Bonnie's church. We want Christians, members here, to feel like a family. Now, as an entire church, what do you say like, in front there? Welcome, Welcome home. home. Welcome what do you see there? Welcome. I put it myself. Welcome. As an entire church, what do you see from outside? Welcome home. Welcome home. I put it there myself. I don't say welcome to the church. Welcome what? Home. I put it there myself consciously. Amen. Yeah. We need to change to come to a family. Say family. family. So when, when it concerns you, it concerns me. When it concerns you, it concerns me. Say, but when it concerns you, it concerns me. Hello. Say from today, I can, I can close my bank account to rescue a child of God. That's when Christianity will be real one begins. When you can close the bank account to rescue a child of God in me. I've seen unbelieving friends do that. I've seen unbelieving friends spend 10,000 to follow lawyers. 20,000 to follow what? Lawyers for a case of a, a, a glass plate. Not even, I mean what? Class of it. We need to come to a point where we can stand as a body and say we will fight our brother's case. We will stand for our sisters we have. We will stand to see that this business begin. We will support at one another and see it happen. Hallelujah. God bless us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, what well, best now? Thirteen. Now, um, and he said, Lay not thy hand upon the Lord, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thine son and only son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the tickle by the horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of Isaac. And the angel, and Abraham called it the name of the place, what? Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Verse 15. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of uh, heaven the second time and said, by myself I sworn. By myself have I sworn, said the Lord. Hello? Imagine God swearing here. Said so by myself I swear. Wow. Said the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee. In multiplying, I multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, 
and thy seed shall possess the gifts of his enemies. And in, and in thee shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast not, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Can you see that God begins to deposit in Abraham? Was a deposit of great generation. Abraham was not to see it. But God said, Abraham, I'm putting you seeds called Isaac and Jacob. And the seeds I put in you will be, be that word, a great nation. They will possess the world. They will rule the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What make him so blessed? You see, little things matter for God. Hallelujah. Little things matter before God. Hello. One day I was somewhere in the office with a friend pastor. We tried to give some Christians some tests. Some Christians who, who I need. They call one sister. Say, please, sister, um, my car needs some repairs. Can you have me 5,000? I know you don't have much money. Just try, please. Go home. Give me 5,000. France, this is Africa, like $10. Oh. This is Africa, Cameroon, over here. And then, to help repair my car. The girl went, I went, I went, it's up here. <laughs> Was the pastor who had money in the drawer that if you can bring the 5,000, we give her 20,000 to do business. Just to try out to see how this girl can behave with Pastor. The money was an inevitable. She went and went. Two hours, three hours, four hours, call her. Say, Pastor, I'm sorry, I came. It's not, it's not possible, you know, this and this and this and this and this and this. I went. That's how to be the best behavior to come. I can't tell her what you It's a test. After, on Sunday, the second was released. Hello? Hi. It was too late, you know, she was grumbling after that, you know. Now, God wants to, want to bless us. God wants to bless us. Listen carefully. The one I see ahead of me, that's my time frame. Amen. God wants to bring blessing in the church. Like this guy got to me to future. I see a lot of things in the future. Amen. Amen. Listen, hello, 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 hello. Amen. Amen. God wants to take you by faith. Can you see your future by faith? And see that there are keys to open that future. Some of you be here like Abraham. You are like what? And God is saying, I'm putting some seeds in you for your children's children's children. Some things must be deposited in your life, not just for you, but for what? Your children, children, children. But God is saying to you, can you just even appreciate God by stepping forward? You know, our church in Cameroon, um, I, I, like, I like some of them because they have learned the lesson already. It says to more people, when they, like my conference, this in Cameroon, amen. At the end of the conference, conference, I mean, from their own money, they raised like $10,000. The bills were paid, not from U.S. money, you know. Yeah. Actually, I left the church here with $1,200 of the church. As the church opened, they gave $1,200 of the whole church. Okay? So if you try to give me some of this amount. Amen. But the Cameroon people themselves, they raise money for what? All their bills. Amen. Amen. All the bills. Because they have learned a lesson that the destiny of their, of their future future must be broken. Poverty cannot, cannot hold them anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to come to a point where we here decide to stretch their faith to kill suffering and strenuous life. But we have decided to do some things that are um, extraordinary. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm investing for the nature to come. You know, some of us, we don't live for ourselves. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I'm a voice for Africa and for the world. Amen. 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 I might be a small church here that is beginning, but I'm this, is not, this is not what describes me. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Amen. <laughs> okay. I'm saying that this is not what describes me. It's only church that is identifies that describes what I'm doing. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This is just a, a new project. So this is not what is identified Bishop for me. Amen. Amen. I'm coming with three new books. Um, they're already in the, in the printing. I should have the first copy for three new books are coming by the end of this. In the next three weeks, you get three different books. Amen. One is fulfilling, fulfilling your God giving us a destiny. Amen. And um, we must analyze that some people need to make, what do you do? Say, say life is not working. Life is what strategic living. Some people will work all their life and end up zero. They don't use their head to think. Ready to work? Because, hello? Now you are what age? Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Maybe 45. No, you are both 45. They are around 46, for the maybe 48. Amen. Amen. After 20 years, will you be working the same way you're working now? You will not, because you don't have the same strength like now. You need some little rest. Are you following us all? What will you do when you don't go to job again for eight hours? For 12 hours. Good. So you need, you need to now begin to think of. God giving you old age. Say good old, say old age. Old age. Because old age and poverty is worse than the devil. <laughs> That's the same. Old age and poverty is worse than the devil. <laughs> worse than the devil. <laughs> Better die young than to die old and poor. <laughs> and then die old and rich is not by, by, by wishes. It's not by what? Wishes is by strategic living and planning. So many believers don't know that the life or the old age is good to we need to begin to live it now, practice it now, work for it now, pursue it now, invest. Are you following me, Mom? Amen. Think now, plan now, fight for it now. Begin doing something for your future now. Hallelujah. It's more than the right food. It can, it can even be healthy. Hello? Say good health. And poverty is terrible. It can be healthy. For me, I like my size. I like, you know, I don't eat it. I eat, I, you know, I try, I'm, I pass it almost every day. Yeah. So, but, are you following me, church? Amen. You need to be able to to, to see beyond today and live beyond what today. Amen. I'm going to write books that will sell even after 100 years. Books that cannot expire. Hallelujah. Amen. So, but we need to be able to, to see the future and work towards it. I mean, by 10 years, once God, I want to be like Abraham. But listen, let's see the last thing to that close. Amen. The last point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, so we, now, hello? What caused angel to come from heaven two times to the ground? He's not picking in tongues and binding the devil and casting and binding. No, no, no. You boys sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hello? He's not binding and casting. Say provoke your blessings. To the book, provoke your blessings. Provoke your blessings. So 2014, you can provoke the blessing. You can do what? You can provoke the blessing. You can do what? Provoke the blessing. There's an old pastor in Cameroon, Pat Tiny. Martin, um, Pastor Tiny. But Christopher. It's an old pastor. Amen. So I that took back my time. So he doesn't have a big church, but I respect people who are suffered for Christ. 
I think a little give sake to him, not, not just for give sake, but what we say, the Lord bless you. Say the Lord bless you. Don't play, don't take those words what like. Now the Lord bless you from your genius doesn't work. The Lord, the Lord bless you from your what doesn't work. You know why? The, the, um, the lower cannot bless it, the senior. You cannot see the, the, the governor installing the president. See, the lesser cannot bless the higher. Oh. Hallelujah. Let's make this I'm sorry, please. Hello? Amen. You are so kind of blessed. Amen. You are so kind of blessed. You can do what? Yes, I can give you money. They cannot bless you. But you can lay and say what? You say, my son, this is how your destiny will be. Amen. Are you calling me, church? Yes. So recognize those elders in your life that can speak to you and your destiny. Say that, Paul. Recognize the elders in your life. Yes. That can do what? Speak to your destiny. Don't you have friends that you eat hamburger and you know? <laughs> Look for those fathers, those mothers. That can that can do what? In release in your life. And prophesy in your life. And bless your life. That is why Abraham, let's take a picture of it. Abraham looked for what? Mechisilin. Look at the place. Hello, hello, hello. I want to end here, listen. Hello? Right. When Clifford Dollar wanted to start his ministry, he went to Wood, Kenneth, Covenant, and he blessed him. He's his father in the Lord. And mentored him. When Johnny Tavern and Simon went to Wood, TGJs. When Paul and Wine Sunday went to Wood, TGJs. They are, which of TGJs what is their father in the Lord. He's the covering father. Amen. Isaac, I'm sorry about Isaac now. Elisha was mentored by Elijah. Joshua was mentored by Moses. Do you know who wrote Genesis as the Lord of Numbers, Jeremy? Joshua. Joshua was a scribe. Moses got a revelation, and Joshua was one. You read the books, the letters of Paul. Paul did not write most of them. Some are written by Timothy, by Titus, even by Luke. Do you know that? Take go to the Bible, please. Go to Romans. Go to Romans, that's it. Go to the last chapter. Go to the last chapter, last chapter of each of those books, that's it. You have good Bible, okay? Last chapter of Romans, please. And sent by Phoebe, servant of the church of Central. Have you seen that? Yeah. You need to go back. Go to, go to First Corinthians, the last chapter. Any day, please. You have to go down to see the book notes. Um, First Corinthians uh, 16, the last chapter. Any for me there? Okay, Let's end this morning. Um, Mr. Catholic, for me tonight. I want us to decide this morning to attract, say attract, attract, and provoke, and provoke a blessing. A blessing. Let's end with the last passage, please. Genesis twenty, Genesis eight twenty to twenty-two, and nine as one. What I call the secret of Noah. Let's let's end this morning. Then. We can provoke 
God will speak. Genesis 8, 20 to 22, and 9, verse 1. You can provoke. You know this morning, we say, okay. You yeah, have some, some people here, maybe, but is here. Genesis 20, from verse 8, from verse 20. Amen? You know, can cause man to, bless, to say, God bless you. Eh? Yeah. Just buy him a nice suit. We say, God do what? Oh, God bless you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just buy my brother here, good. I like, I like the way you dress like a journalist, you know. God bless you. It's the same. So you can cause God to also do what? To speak on your behalf. Amen. Amen. Genesis 8, please. Let's close tonight. Today. Are you there? Genesis 8 from verse 20. Are you there? 8 from verse 20. Now, and Noah built an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl and offered burnt offering unto on the altar. And the Lord smelled the sweet shovel and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground and any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his soul. Then I will add against me any more, any any more every living thing as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest time, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Now, 9 verse 1, are you there? And God bless. I like that. And God, the blessed is it around or possible? Is it possible to present? Uh, the past and present. And God bless Noah. And God blessed Noah and his sons. And God said to them, What? Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Hallelujah. So God was moved by Noah's sacrifice. And God smelled some good smell. And God blessed Noah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, next week is our Thanksgiving. Listen carefully. I was, I grew up in Catholic Church. We, we, learned, we learned some good things that people can appreciate God even if they are poor. As some people brought eggs to church, some brought chicken to church, some brought a bunch of plantain to God, some brought the yam, the man, some brought cassava to God. Hello? Hi. But we are past that level. This is a one time issue in 12 months. Okay. A day I want to appreciate God in a physical way, not just with my mouth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, uh, Barbara, if you, you plan to go back to the village, you go and see your grandfather or America to thank you. Oh, Lord. You don't go to a church. Oh, I just come and thank you, America. After all that speech, it's over. His eyes are waiting to see the times. <laughs> after all the work, the speech you make of America, I just come to the village. After 25 years, I want to come and thank my father. They are waiting for his son. And then after that speech, you walk away. Thank you. <laughs> 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 said, I don't follow you. They say this kind of boy, don't come out here again or go back to the Oh my God. So, so happy Thanksgiving is once in a year. It's a time you plan to come to God's house and and tangibly in your own way. Amen. It's not a, it's not a, job, it's not a job competition. It's not, it's not competition. Amen. Our fears are not the same. But it's a day you come to the world from your heart in a tangible way and preserve God. Amen. Amen. You, you decide to come to God with not just lift worship, but with substance worship. Amen. And we, we do that because our God is there for us. Because there are no places in I want, I want us to believe God. I like you to believe God that you are in I'm in for better days. Probably they can trust. I can, that if your car breaks down, I can tell you my car to go to work. 
You know, we should be able to come to a point that we can we, we come out of that religious church. Amen. I can you come and park at the garage and your sister needs a car to go to work and you refuse yeah. because you know, you're gas. <laughs> is it is Christians are becoming something else? Hey, hey, what I even got a case where husband and wife was fighting, said don't use my car. Don't use my car. Don't use my car. They're believers. You use my car. I put gas in it. They don't touch my car. Is it a foolishness? This man says must stop. Squish that hand. Say I'm I'm in for you. I'm in for you. Feel feel that hand. Squish that hand. I'm in for you. If you need help, just call me. I'll be there for you. Don't don't be very serious. Because when I call, don't tell me stories. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am in for you. God help us to stand for one another, to fight for one another's case. We should not be killers, we should be life givers. We should be rescued, we should, we should be engaged in the rescue mission. We should be engaged in the rescue mission. Standing for one another. Fighting for one another. Going in for one another. We agree, Lord. We agree, Lord. We agree. We agree. Thank you. 